All right. First video. What we've got here is I made a rotisserie out of two engine hoists. This one I just bolted to the back frame because part of this here is going to be cut off because the back of that truck is shorter. The wheelbase is only 96 inches uh, long. So, and this is an actual long wheelbase frame from a 55 Chevy. So it's going to be cut off somewhere back here. Now the bars in the bottom, I'm going to tack weld those together and attach them to each rotisserie so they stabilize it lengthwise. And then I've got more over on the ground there that I'm actually going to use on the back side for, to make the base wider so no tipping. Um, up in the front, I just did a really quick tack weld of this plate this uh, square tubing, rectangle tubing rather, and then bolted holes, bolted it through that. So, and it does turn, um, although the engine stands are kind of leaning back, um, it does bunch a little bit, but for this purpose, it's gonna work great. Um, and it will spin all the way around. And I did this with my engine hoist. I lifted the whole back of the frame up, put the engine hoist on the back, then I moved it toward the front, lifted it up, and did it myself. Um, actually, it was very easy. So, you know, if anyone has any questions about how this was done, uh, there's not too many on YouTube right now. But um, what you can do too is to take some of the bunching out of the as it turns because it is leaning back so when it spins it's going to bunch you can jack the back wheels up a little bit um, and that will relieve some of the, the tension that's on it um, I don't want to destroy you know the engine stands for any reasons because I have an engine which is my LS1 that's going to go in this thing along with the Dana 44 if you can see it there and then the transmission, which is a 4L60E. And then I've got all the uh, front suspension, which is cluttered up back here. Uh, aluminum drive shaft. But uh, Flat Out Engineering has bracketry that will bolt up C4 suspension to this frame. And it's pretty easy to install, which I'll show that to you in another video. But after I sandblast, I'm going to sandblast over there my frame in here. Uh, I wonder you can get it done pretty cheaply for like 200 bucks, but I'm still going to have it. Uh, I'm going to do it myself. This project is all in my garage, done here. Um, and I have a surprise for you how I'm going to paint this frame um, differently than anyone, anything you've ever seen. So there's a little surprise for later. This is a 1955 Dodge mail truck. They, they called it the Pony Express. It has a backup, I mean a, a slide, roll up slide back door. S the slide, the siding slide doors here. Let's see if I can. You can see how you can get to the back of the motor there. There's where the head mill. They used to stand up to drive these things, so you can tell the gas pedal was on the floor, the brake was on the floor over there. But they raised everything up to where they could, and they made this little makeshift bar where you can set your foot on it, and which is very uncomfortable. But lots of room. And I've got a lot of uh, really unique, cool ideas for this truck as well on the inside, especially with the front up here, all of this. It's actually going to lift up and then be secured up top so you can actually work on the motor from the top. Because I don't know if you can tell or if you noticed, not a lot of working room right here. 
plenty of room inside. That's a 318 original, and this thing runs. But uh, what we're gonna, this is uh, what's gonna go on this frame. So that's it for now. Um, once I clean the frame up and get it stripped down and I got boxing plates over here on the floor that I'm going to put in. I'll have a video on that. But, and I'll just do little videos here and there. So, just keep, uh, keep watching. Thanks.